And so the Vikings, the home team in this contest, getting the three seed in states, while in non-public A, St. Peter's Prep, the number six seed, but Bob, these seeding matchups don't really mean much in this game. Yeah, well, I mean. Of St. Peter's Prep, a sophomore go up against the senior archer, and the tip is won by the Vikings, and it'll be controlled by Geo Phillip. St. Peter's Prep starting out in a man-to-man -man defense. Phillip uses that screen of Archer over to battle in the corner. Knight. But for now, we'll start off. Najla Williams, the libero of this team, a junior as well in that coveted junior class that UC has. And here is the ball game getting started. Westfield play it back. Tapped over into the corner. Abby Ortiz plays it back. Slam by the lefty, out of bounds. And UC, 1-0. And here will be the senior Grace Grutters. Having a huge game near the net. Now in the serving column here. Kwasnick trying to get it done. Taps it over. Played up by Margolis. Over to Miller. And Miller all night. We've seen that from Westfield. Jenna Miller, the MVP of this game so far, and puts her team in the best position they've been all night. Yeah, they're on the court. Yeah, and veto for Elizabeth. First tile on offense, but it's their defense early on really showing what they're worth. First thing in the Catholic, and there's some tough fouls, some tough plays, and five points only in one quarter. Yeah, the uh, the story of the first half has got to be the Minutemen defense clamping up the ball. Down. And guys, UC did not lose a single game at home last year. They are great at defending their home turf. They look to do the same now. And there is Brandon Hampton with a little bit of defending of that home court. The matchup zone tonight. And the key question today is, can Jordan Pierce stop Nas Reed? Nas Reed, the 6'11 forward, he's top 10 in the country. Can Jordan Pierce play up to his potential and go one-on-one -on -one against him? And a lot of promise coming from this victory today. Battle stepped it up early, and then Tanksley really took over the second half. Archer a constant factor all throughout, I think, in more ways than just the box score showed, of course. Being the premier big in this one, uh, the bigs of St. Peter's prep, really non-existent as expected.